not starting yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wait a couple more minutes. There's uh, one or two more people. <laughs> All right. First, I want to thank you guys uh, for coming this morning and participating in the in this focus group. And uh, it's more of a just kind of a conversation among ourselves here, and uh, just trying to gather some information. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Ray Roberts, and I am the director of urban development for our Unified Champion School model at Special Olympics. My name is Tim Shriver. I work at the international headquarters of Special Olympics and am a former high school teacher, uh, school administrator, and someone who uh, has spent the last 20 or so years trying to think about how Special Olympics can become a program or a movement that young people own and uh, shape. Have you ever heard uh, of the word inclusion or inclusive? And if you have, what do you know about it? What does it mean to you? The Inclusion Revolution is the Special Olympics message for the next 50 years. It is that the most important issue in the world today is how we learn to get along, how we learn to bridge our fear of differences, how we learn to choose to include. Um, I think the, the impact that, um, that we're hoping to see with Special Olympics programming as a unified program here in Des Moines Public Schools is that we're really going to start generating relationships and partnerships across the entire school district from the elementary age all the way through high school. There has to be a starting point somewhere. And I think it's one of those things that once you get started and people understand what it is and they get to see it in action, there, there's a fear around things that people, uh, when people don't know something. What other experiences like, do you think helped, could help shape people to become more inclusive, you know, in other words, or is it something you're born with? Yeah, I feel like for me, um, as I said before, my sister is an children. So knowing that I can go to school and my parents don't have to worry about me like getting bullied or being treated differently because I don't like I don't have anything. But since my sister does and I know she can't fend for herself, I feel like I have to be welcoming for her. That is helped to shape me to be more like including of everyone because if there's someone over here that doesn't feel welcome to make them feel welcome because I've witnessed what's being on the outside and I've witnessed like and I've experienced first in myself what it feels like to be on the outside. Here in this community they have decided to go all in like not just feet first but whole body in to this and really make a run at it so that they can be an example for other communities other districts uh, in the state and across the country on how to actually do this in a way that is productive and beneficial for everyone involved. I think it's important for the simple fact that we want well-rounded students as they graduate through the Des Moines Public Schools and go out into the world and understand that there are different faces that you're going to be able to have to interact with in order to be successful, whatever that word means to you. And that the more diversity and the more uh, that you're comfortable with different people, the more successful I believe you'll be. Because like me, I, I didn't really like opening up, but then like there was a lot of people like Charles, Gabby, all, all these people like they they try to come to me, try to talk to me, and uh, I really appreciated that, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that same energy, and I'm gonna bring it up to other people. Mm. Cause, it, Cause like, all, all this world needs is happiness. Mm. Like, we can't be having all that other stuff, it's just happiness, and I want that for other people. Mm.
Well, I think again, you know, our district is uh, the model of urban education and all of our mission statements of each school aligns with what um, the Unified Champion Schools do. It starts with sports and it spills over into classrooms and it spills over into the community. Um, you know, and what we want our communities to look like and what we want our state and nation to look like. What I hope to see for Des Moines Public Schools is that we have, no matter what your ability, no matter what your background, where you come from, that you can do whatever activity, whatever academics, whatever class that you want to take, or just feel that you can be involved and that you're welcomed and that you feel included and that you feel like that is a space and an environment that you feel safe, that you want to come to and enjoy those activities. I heard people describe a school where empathy and open-mindedness and being welcoming to others is the normal way to behave. You have already voted for inclusion! You have already voted for a different future. Yeah! 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 Wait a minute, yeah! Okay, that's better, that's better, that's better. We will begin to see the new horizon, the revolution, which is the revolution that people will grow up assuming that everybody has a gift and that no one should be locked away. And no one should be hidden, no one should be mocked, no one should be humiliated. That the days of humiliation and segregation and fear will end. And that's our vision.